Dear children, welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. Here you will find chemistry very easy. Subscribe for more videos. In this session, we are going to learn Dalton symbols. Who is Dalton? In 1808, John Dalton, an English scientist, named various elements with pictorial symbols. So he used some pictures that represents elements. He called it as pictorial symbols. In fact, John Dalton is a wonderful chemist, metallurgist, physicist, I can say, mathematician. At his, uh, so he was a school teacher, the principal, the professor in his young age at his young age so one of the remarkable thing we have to see about Dalton so Dalton have developed various symbols these symbols are not used nowadays it just has some historical importance, that's all. But the, in the way of developing symbols, the Dalton symbols has a important aspects. He is the first one who proposed first model of an atom. Even still, we use some of the points he has discussed. Let us go to the symbol which he has given to us. If you make a circle, that indicates oxygen. If you make a circle plus dot, that's called hydrogen. A circle shaded, shaded circle is called carbon. A circle with a vertical line, we call hydrogen. Circle plus, inside if you write plus, if you draw plus, it's called sulfur. And this symbol, circle, inside if you draw three lines like this, from center it's called phosphorus circle inside if you write C is called copper circle and L if you write it's called lead circle and four dots like this it's called alumina circle and uh, double vertical lines is called soda and uh, what is the speciality of his symbol is he has given symbol not only for elements but also for compound atoms so later this Compound atom is named into molecules in the modern chemistry. So the symbols. So we know very well that water, if I say, you will all say the formula is H2O. But he used, he came to know that water consists of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. So he connected the hydrogen symbol and oxygen symbol and written like this. Similarly, ammonia is made up of nitrogen and hydrogen. So he connected nitrogen and hydrogen. So he written as ammonia. Similarly for carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is made up of carbon and oxygen. So he connected carbon and oxygen to represent carbon dioxide. He called it as carbonic oxide. So very simple idea. So with these symbols we can connect many molecules. We can draw many molecules. So but this system is not used currently because uh, it, it is very difficult to draw as well as to print. That's why we are not using this. In our next video, we will see about modern method of writing symbols. Thanks for watching.